What is going on guys? Welcome back to another episode. Will Nace here. Today we have to uh, pull some stuff out of quarantine. We got some new stuff going into quarantine. New stuff is always fun and exciting. Um, but yeah, so it's a little update on a couple of different of the tree vipers that we do have. Uh, really excited to show you guys some of the new snakes I just picked up. Hopefully you guys enjoy it. Okay, so tonight I'm filming by myself, so using the phone here, but uh, yeah, so fresh out of quarantine, uh, we had the Trimosaurus, Purple Maculatus, the Red Phase, uh, Artie in the snake room. We'll go check her out here in a little bit. Um, but today, uh, the other flat nose uh, pit viper is coming out of quarantine, so we gotta clean out her container um, and get it nice and ready to go in the snake room. Um, and then we'll show you guys the new snake. So let's check her out. There is that big beautiful girl. She looks like she's about to shed, um, which if that's the case, I'm gonna wait until she sheds uh, to pull her out of quarantine. I don't necessarily like um, to put snakes in the snake room until they shed, just to get whatever little parasites they by chance have on them off. So maybe we'll wait for that, but we still gotta clean this bad girl out tonight. All right, so there she is, fresh new paper towel new water just hanging so you can kind of see uh, she's getting very dark there very good sign of the fact that she's gonna shed here soon so maybe we'll uh, I'll feed her here in the next day or so um, to help that shed along but yeah so let's go check out some other stuff also guys we do have winners uh, from the giveaway in my last video uh, we have Kelly from North Carolina she was the 200th comment and Ryan from, I believe, Ohio uh, got the weight of the Gaboon correct, which was, he was the first one to get it correct because a couple people did, uh, which was six pounds, two ounces, 24 ounces, whatever it was, uh, but yeah, 6.2. So he got that right. He was the first one to get that right. Uh, so congratulations to them. I am actually sending their shirts out tomorrow. Uh, so good job. We do have another competition, another giveaway coming up soon that is actually going to be sponsored uh, by my good friends over at Hollywood Rodents. Uh, they are going to help me ship worldwide. So we're going to do a couple giveaways worldwide uh, so we can ship shirts out of the country as well. Uh, yeah, so stay tuned for those giveaways. Maybe I'll do one in the next video. I'm not really sure yet, but let's get back to it. So I've been working on a new Vivarium 2. Um, this one's a little bit different than all the other ones, so I'm gonna give you guys a little sneak peek on it. Um, I'm taking my time with this one. Uh, it's a little bit more technical, but I'm gonna be really excited when it's done. It's almost done, got a few more little touches to do, but uh, so this is a rough copy of it. But yeah, I'm super excited about it, so hopefully you guys enjoy it too. So uh, yeah, it's another 36 by 36 by 18. It's another one of the big ones. It's gonna be a paludarium. So it's gonna be all the way filled up with water up to the rocks there. So I did a base of rocks around there so that none of the uh, peat moss is actually touching the water. But uh, this will be a awesome filtration system with a nice waterfall. This will all be nice and full of rocks as well. Uh, gonna have a plant there. Uh, that not done yet, but that's actually going to be a fogger. You can see there, Repti fogger. It's going to come out and kind of pour and trickle down, so that'll be really cool. Um, a bromeliad that I already had started on this piece of wood uh, is already growing. You see, it's got roots coming off there. Going to have another plant there, another plant behind it, another plant there, um, and then probably another one behind that as well. So this one will be for uh, the Trimosaurus Propomoculatus, the two greens and the red that I do have. Um, but yeah, it'll be pretty cool when it'll be done. Um, I'm gonna have fish in it. 
but uh, happy it's coming along slowly but surely. Gonna add some big fake vines too, so it'll make it nice and jungly. It'll be pretty cool when it's all done, but uh, yeah, so work in progress. Let me know what you guys think of this one. Again, when it is done, I'll do another video with it done, so it'll be pretty cool. Okay, so the new tree vipers I'm, I got, I guess, they're, they're in here. Probably can't see them, but they're in here. Um, I may or may not already have one of these, um, but these guys are really cool. Uh, they're some of my favorite tree vipers just because of the coloration. Uh, opening this one-handed is not easy, I'm not gonna lie, there we go. Um, so I am setting them up in another Critter Keeper like this one uh, with an open top versus the other ones that I normally keep my tree vipers in when I set them up for quarantine uh, because their humidity, uh, I need it to stay low. Uh, if these guys have too high of humidity, it will kill them just because of where they come from. Uh, so these guys, um, if you guys are a big follower of my channel, thank you. Uh, but these guys come from the Komodo Islands and they are some more Blue and Solaris's. So these little guys right here, there's one there, um, the other one's popping his head out there. There's a third one in here somewhere. Oh, there he is, tucked. Where is he? Right there. So there's three of them in here. Uh, one of them is for my sister. Two of them are for me. Um, so we're going to go ahead. Uh, I believe I did grab 1.2, which that would be one male and two females. So we will see here. We're gonna grab these bad boys out. It's kind of hard with all this stuff. As you can see, they're very wiry snakes when they are babies. Look at that thing. Beautiful blue. Oh man, I can't wait to get some, some new photography pictures. So I believe this one here is the male. Now, I'm, if I can get this to focus, you can kind of tell because of tail length. Um, I believe that's a male here. So we're gonna go ahead. I'm setting them up in this little container here. Again, open top, so not keep so much humidity in there. Oh, you fell over. Let's see. Grab this one right here. So I like this one. This one's got like a shade of green to it almost. Beautiful. So these guys haven't shed yet. I believe this is actually one of the females. And so should the other one. So that's two. Let's see. Where'd the other one go? There he is. There she is, I should say. I believe that's the female hiding right there but yeah I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get some roses again to be able to take some pictures of these beautiful beautiful snakes Got a blue on that thing so yes yeah, so that's right there I believe is a female of focus there she is awesome awesome snakes so all three of them in there for their quarantine. Um, so as you know, I do have the bigger blue Insularis. Um, it's very hard to tell the sex of that one uh, because of the tail that is actually kinked. But pretty cool, I'm happy to have these guys. So they're gonna be in quarantine for a total of six weeks. I'm gonna try feeding them here uh, in the next couple days. They have not done their first shed yet. As you can, like I said, wiry little guys. But yeah, so they come from the Komodo Islands, same as the Komodo Dragons. Um, it's not too humid there. It's very dry climate. Um, I've seen people spray these things down uh, and they literally get like water blisters and die immediately from it because uh, it's too much water for them. So I actually don't have a misting system on the one in the snake room for that reason right there. Pretty awesome. So let's go check out the snake room anyway, because uh, like I said, the other purple maculatus is in there, the red phase, uh, mangrove, pit viper, whatever you want to call it. So we're gonna go check her out. All right, so she's actually, if I'm not mistaken, she's hanging out right here um, on the lip of this cage. Now she just ate for me two days ago. So be very careful opening this up. Oh yeah, see her head's right there. Look at her, awesome. Love this snake though. So I'm hoping to breed these guys here in the future. Not too many people breed these snakes in the States. So she just shed not too long ago. As you can see, she's got beautiful, beautiful red eyes. Hoping to maybe get some photography pictures of this girl next time she does shed. Such an awesome snake. Let me see if I can zoom in a little bit there. 
Um, she does have a kind of a brownish tint to her, but it's okay. Definitely want to get some babies on her. Whoops, too far of a zoom. So we're gonna go ahead and push that tail back in. Oh, no, no, no biting. That's not allowed. You, you gotta behave. But yeah, so this snake is going to be going. Come on, back in you go. Back in, there you go. I'm trying not to crush her here. So yes, she will be going in the vivarium that I'm building outside that you guys just saw. Um, really happy when I'm finally gonna get that one done. Like I said, I've been working very hard on that one, but I've been taking my time, not trying to rush it or anything like that. Um, so that one will be going right there in the middle where the other babies are. But yeah, everybody's doing pretty great. Super excited. Next year, I'm hoping to be able to breed my white lip tree vipers. Uh, the squam still hasn't pushed her babies out. I'm going crazy because she hasn't still pushed her babies out. Now, I know this boy is always hard to see, but he's actually out because I did have the lights off. He is a nocturnal snake. God, he's so beautiful. So, so beautiful. When you see the blues on him and everything like that. So I'm actually going to be redoing this vivarium. Um, the water features did not exactly turn out how I wanted them to. Uh, so I'm going to be taking him out temporarily once I get done with the other vivarium and uh, kind of redoing this one a little bit. So it's going to get an extreme tank makeover again. Look at that boy. So awesome. Such a beautiful snake. Absolutely love this snake. But yeah, pretty cool. In love with it, but going to redo it. So yeah, just wanted to give you guys a quick little update on everybody. Fancy Pan Viper hanging out. Right there, eyelash right there somewhere, yeah. But uh, yeah, quick little updates on the arboreal stuff for you guys. Thanks for stopping by, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one like always. Subscribe if you're not already. Smash that like button if you haven't already. Huge thank you to my Patreons. We had a fun live stream the other night. Uh, thinking about doing another live stream here on YouTube shortly, uh, maybe this week coming up. Um, Maybe in the snake room if I get the whole thing figured out with the TV and everything like that. So, I'll see you guys in the next video like always. Bye.